to the weekly roundup. It's a busy show tonight. We've got a word from our sponsors and we finally got some cricket. But first, we've had a visit from the Surrey Cricket Foundation recently and we've looked at ways of how we can work together and support each other going forward. So with Mark moving on to his new role within the foundation, we invited our new club support officer for Surrey Heath and all those surrounding boroughs, Richard Kendall, to Phoenix. Richard has been visiting clubs to get a first-hand view of how they're set up, together with assisting them where possible with the current plans and strategy. It was great to tell him our story, the Phoenix journey, and where we're looking to take the club both on and off the pitch this season. Really appreciate his visit. Look forward to supporting and working with him in his new role. So we're finally underway, and thank you so much to Jira for their support and sponsorship last weekend. Now let's go over and have a match report on the whole of the weekend's matches. We kick off at Shelford with two guys making their debuts and that being Anil and Carl. With Yogi stuck in traffic, it was Baz that did the toss. Unfortunately, we lost it and they put us into bat. <laughs> After losing a couple of early wickets, it was down to Richard Turnbull and Yogi to settle it back down again. And they put on a 100 partnership, with Richard being the first person to get a 50 for the club this season. Skipper Yogi Leal also went on to make a half century and set a milestone going past 800 league runs for the club. So well done, Yogi. Bye, Yogi! Never easy being put in and batting first on these early season pitches. And we battled our way to 167 and we were bowled out with just over four overs to go. And the Shelford bowling, well, that saw Brian Winston get a fifer. First game of the season, that can't be bad. And a good economy rate as well, so he'll be chuffed. And well bowled to skipper Peter Unsworth. Another three wickets for him. And the biggest Phoenix thank you of the day goes to Amber for making what was an outstanding tea, I am told. And thank you so much to everyone at Shelford for their fantastic hospitality to Frimley Phoenix last weekend. So the Phoenix started promisingly, but Wayne Torrey was in form again this season. 76 from 86 balls. And Peter Unsworth, with an unbeaten 43, ended up seeing Shelford home at 168 off 35 overs. Phoenix bowling figures. Great to see Anil taking his first wicket for the club and always good to see Taddy Leal getting one. Ryan got a wicket and then a milestone got. Baz, that's 50 wickets for the Phoenix. Congratulations, mate. So, good evening, Carl. You've made your debut today. How did that go? Uh, yeah, not so bad. Unfortunate for the loss, but enjoyed it, mate, honestly. To get out there, uh, to be part of the part of a team, be with the boys, see how it actually goes. Um, first ever game probably playing cricket. Um, yeah, it went really well. Went really Fantastic well. achievement, mate. Well done. Look forward to seeing you next week. I can't wait. So the ones were at Friendly Green Wreck and they were taking on Grayswood Thirds. Three guys made their debut for the Phoenix on Saturday. That was Matt, Yam and Ross. And Skipper Alan Doyle leading a team of familiar faces. I actually caught up with Alan the day before to get his thoughts on how the pitch was going to play and whether we get any cricket at all. What's your, what's your thoughts on the pitch, Al? I, uh, right, with, with the amount of rain we've had, um, I'm surprised at how, how good it's actually looking. It's very, very soft underneath. It's, what, 12 o'clock on Friday. If we have no rain now for the rest of the day until tomorrow, I think he'll be fine to play. Definitely a bowling wicket. 100% put them in if we win the toss um, and see if we can skill them out cheap and knock it off. Uh, but yeah, any more rain? Not sure. Not sure if it'll go ahead. All right, mate. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Losing the toss inevitably meant that Grayswood would put us in and it took some real digging in from some players who would normally have a far higher strike rate to actually get us to a total of 126 all out with three balls to spare. Grayswood Bowling saw Noah Laybourne take four for 19. A really good spell from him. And as always, Cheaton never fails to uh, to please with his bowling. Three for 19 for him on the day. So Matt on debut, opening the bowling. The 
the start of an outstanding spell of bowling. And then we had Yam. And Grayswood on a difficult pitch and a very good Phoenix bowling attack. Battled hard, but it was always going to be a difficult day. So the margin of victory was 81 runs, an incredible opening spell from Matt and Yam. <laughs> Two for four for both of them. And then everyone else chipped in as well. Nice to see Ross getting his first wicket for the club as well. Three for Big Ram, two for Harrison, and Kian got a couple of overs as well. So a really, really, really solid Phoenix performance. So a quick look at Div 6, very early days obviously. But the streak continues and we are now 17 games unbeaten. Let's have a look at our play of the days for the ones and the twos from last weekend. All good, Kieran. What's your play of the day? Well, I don't think there was a play, but I think uh, three newcomers... Uh, Matt, Ross and Yam, brilliant at bowling, mm. the start of the game, two wickets each, it was, it was really good. Yeah. My play of the game was going to Ted, Ted's first game was absolutely brilliant, lining them, absolutely super. Well done. Well done to all our debutants over the weekend and congratulations Taddy, that's no mean feat getting player of the day. Now let's go over to Camberley and see how the women got on on Sunday. And we're here with Captain Charlotte. And what happened in the middle just then? So we've just done the toss. We've lost, so we're batting first. Not exactly what I preferred, but here's what it is. Just get on with it, you know. Okay, we have a number of new players this year. Do you want to talk us through it? Yeah, so it's really lovely. I'm really pleased that we do. It's nice to see so many new faces. And we've got Helen, and she's been watching Lucy play, and now she's come and joined us, which is really lovely to see Mum playing cricket. Um, we've got Chamilla, who I spoke to briefly at the dinner dance back in November, and now she's signed up, she's playing, loving it, I think, and it's just really good to see. Um, we've got Sarah, who played a little bit indoors. She's a friend of Hannah's, but now she's come joined us outside, which is really great to see. It's lovely to see the new people joining the Phoenix family and just, yeah, being a real part of the team. So after being put in by Camberley, the Frimley Phoenix Blades went into bat and scored 115 runs. That's a net score in ladies cricket of 315. So it was now Camberley to bat and well bowled to Charlotte who got a wicket, to Claire who got two and we were lucky enough to capture this one from Jess Turnbull. A valiant effort from Camberley scoring 88 off their 16 overs giving them a net score of 288. So congratulations to Friendly Phoenix Blaze that won the game by 27 runs. Come on, you go it! So if you want a more comprehensive look of this weekend's games, then don't forget, tune in to Henry's Highlights with Jamie as they go through the first and seconds game in far more detail. Slightly different this week, but let's have a look at this week's fixtures. So here are this week's fixtures and tonight we've got our academy game against Eastham's and we'll find out a bit about that next week. Then on Saturday our under 9s are playing Fleet and on the Sunday our under 11s are playing Hook and Newham. And then on the following Tuesday Friendly Phoenix Academy is playing the Dad's Army game which should be good fun as always. No games this weekend from a league perspective as it's the King's Coronation. No, it's not that one, although he is Phoenix royalty. This is the one it is. Yes, of course, it's King Charles's coronation and therefore there are no games this weekend from the Anson League. A big thank you to Nexus National Security Network this week for their support and sponsorship. And here's a message from their managing director, Mark Stanton. Well, hello there, the boys and girls of the Frimley Phoenix Under Nines cricket team from sunny Manchester. Everybody at Nexus just wanted to wish you good luck for your cricket match. Make sure you enjoy yourselves and most importantly, come on you Phoenix! 
Thank you, Mark. And Nexus are void property specialists and mobile security professionals. We'd like to thank Hello Dolly for their sponsorship this week as well. It's a bit of fun and let's see how you can get involved. Ever dropped an easy catch or worse, had one dropped off your bowling? Well, it's time to introduce Hello Dolly that we'll be using all throughout the year on any Frimley Phoenix or other clubs catches if they report them in the correct manner. It's free and thank you ever so much for their sponsorship this season. So which category do you fall into if you drop an easy catch? Are you the juggler? Are you the okie Koki? Are you the Oscar? Are you the statue? Or have you been blinded by the light? It's a bit of fun, free to enter. So anybody who drops a catch off your bowling or you drop a catch yourself, please nominate that person to me in the normal way. Await your verification certificate by email um, and we'll say hello Dolly to that person. We'll put them into one of the categories and we'll, and we'll see how that pans out over the summer. But if last weekend generated any candidates and you'd like to nominate them, then please drop me a line. Well, after the first game, it's very early doors, but let's have a look at how we're getting on with the Fantasy League this week. And there's Yogi taking top spot this week. I'm sure he must have backed himself with his 50. And then Jess Turnbull in there in second place. A great week for her. And as you can see, they're a reigning champion down in fourth place. Yours truly at six. Jamie at five. And there's my tip for the title in third place with Adam Dukes. And then you've got BJ at seven. Baz at eight. And that's now making up three Turnbulls in the top ten. There's going to be an internal battle going on there. So that's all we've got time for this week. It's been a bit of a mixed bag with the King's Coronation. But we're going to play you out with something from Balls Brothers, which is a restaurant where we've supported a number of charity dinners over the last few months. So there's a bit of Phoenix Gold. There's a word from Wilfred. We'll see you next week. God save the King. Come on, you Phoenix. It's time for a bit of the old Phoenix Gold as we take you back to an event. Come on, you Phoenix. Please like and subscribe.